Okay, we're now on page 116 in tutorial 3-4. Uh, in the middle of the page it says insert a legend. Click the Asian map element in the layout to activate its frame. So uh, now its frame is activated and go to insert. And we want a legend. And we're going to take all the defaults here. Although if you want to put a border around it, this is where you could put a border around it. And then we want to drag it so that it um, snaps on the upper right to the 8 inch vertical guide. And 6.5 inch horizontal guide. Okay, and uh, 6.8 inch horizontal guide, which is there, and then resize it to fit between the 6.8 and 8 inch. Okay, um, so I'm going to have to take this corner and just go down to there. And, um, whoops, there we go. Okay, that looks a little small to me, but uh, we'll leave it. Uh, convert the legend to a graphic and modify it. So, um, right click on the legend and click zoom to selected elements. So, we're going to zoom in on the legend here now, and then we're going to right click on it and, um, Convert it to graphics. And right click the legend, click ungroup. And now the legend is a bunch of individual components here that I can edit. Click anywhere outside the legend to deselect its parts. Click the Asian text box and press delete. Okay, so. Just press the delete key. Uh, drag the legend and population text boxes down to place them closer to the rest of the legend. And I just did a control click there to select both of them. Uh, drag a rectangle around all of the red legend uh, parts to select them. Right click the legend and click group. So. Um, drag a rectangle around them. Let's try that again. Okay, now I got the words up here at the top. And I want to put them back together again. So now I can group them. And right click anywhere in the layout and choose Zoom Whole Page. And insert a title. And that's going to be up here. And we want a title. Click anywhere outside the title's text box. And right click the text box and click properties. And actually, I think I can just do that right here and go to properties. And um, click on the text tab. And we want this to be. Uh, press enter to go to a new line. Uh, And for angle, we want 90. And click on Change Symbol. And uh, let me see, we want size 20, bold, and uh, that's it. So uh, 20, bold, and click OK, and click OK and position it at the top left uh, at the intersection of 6, 8, and 10 inch horizontal guide. So 6.8 
vertical and yeah, let's try that again. Okay. So six point eight vertical and ten. And that does not look right to me. Let me check that again. 6.8 inch. Now let me try something here. Let's go back to properties and yeah. and click on OK and I didn't hit the tab key to move out of that box so it didn't get saved um, so I want the top left top left um, And that still doesn't seem right. I did something wrong here somewhere along the way, and they don't have a picture of it. And so I'm going to assume that what I did was I put the legend in the wrong place. It said put the legend. So the upper right is on the 8 inch vertical guide, and the 6.5 inch horizontal. Okay, I did the 6.5 inch vertical. So let's go down to 6.5 inch. And I'm not getting it here. Did I fail to regroup it? No, it's all grouped. Okay, and that should be on the 6.8 inch. the upper right and the 6.8 inch there we go okay and they're just doing one for the whole thing so okay So I think that's what they want it to look like, although there's no picture to show us. And um, there we go. That seems like an odd place to put the title. I'd put it up here and have it go in the other direction, but that's the way they did it. Um, add a text box with the word agents to the top of the map, another one with blacks to the bottom map. Um, so let's go here and insert uh, text. And this will be Asians. And click outside of it, then click on it, and uh, we'll just kind of slide that over there for now, and I want to insert another one, and actually we'll kind of put it in the center here, and I'm not aware of an easy way to center that, so we're just going to kind of have to eyeball it. And then we're going to right click on it and go to properties. And I want the. Okay, this. Okay, change the symbol here. And let's make this at least 20 bold. And click on OK. Click on OK. And let's make this one the uh, same thing. Go to properties and make it. Uh, 20 and darn it and bold and click on OK and click on OK and there we go and export your layout to the chapter 3 folder as a JPEG image and view it in image viewer it is quite a nice layout and image while there are clear differences there are also remarkable similarities in distribution between the two races and so let's go to file and uh, export map 
and um, I think they always tell you in this book to export things as JPEGs but actually maps um, will actually do better if you export them as uh, GIF files or GIF files if you prefer so we're going to export this as a GIF file and that's the end of tutorial 3.4 Try this again. Uh, export map. I want to do it as a GIF file and click on save. And that's the end of 3.4.